Remember when you could sit down to watch an Apple event and you didn't know exactly everything that was about to happen? Remember how cool it felt to be surprised? Yeah, well, nowadays, that ain't happening. Now, we aren't even in the same season and we already know what to expect from Apple's latest and greatest. Nowadays, surprises are dead. And you know what? We helped kill them. But uh, we'll talk about that in another video, huh? The iPhone 16 will not be official until September, but we know nearly everything already. In fact, we've been talking about iPhone 16 since basically the day after the iPhone 15 was announced. So when it comes to design for the entire iPhone 16 lineup, expect more or less the same with a few key changes. The bezels are once again shrinking just a tad, and with that, comes a little bit more in the way of displays. Instead of the iPhone 16 Pro getting a 6.1 inch display and the Pro Max having a 6.7 inch display, now we're looking at something closer to 6.3 and 6.9 inches respectively, which would make the iPhone 16 Pro Max, unless by some miracle we get a 16 Ultra, the 16 Pro Max, the biggest iPhone ever. The sides of the phone, the ones that just got titanium with the iPhone 15 Pro, get to keep titanium, but this time there are some rumors floating around about a shinier, more polished frame happening. On the back of those regular base models, the cameras are getting a new layout though, looking a lot more like this, with two lenses stacked vertically, which is necessary for something like spatial video. But hey, speaking of cameras, as it currently stands, the cameras on the iPhone 15 Pro are more of what we love in an iPhone camera, but things are very much heating up with the switch to 16 Pro. Not only are we getting a larger main camera sensor, but also improvements across the board, including a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera over the iPhone 15 Pro's 12 megapixel. The new telephoto lens on the iPhone 15 Pro Max that everyone has been loving if they have monster hands uh, is pretty much getting directly inserted into the regular 16 Pro. Now with the 16 Pro Max set to receive Apple's first super telephoto camera with a focal length north of 300 millimeters. If you don't understand tech YouTuber speak, uh, that means just higher quality, more zoomier, better is better, all right? <laughs> In the same realm as cameras, iPhone 16 Pro will also be receiving Apple's newest and shiniest button, the capture button. Yeah, so if for some reason <laughs> you haven't heard of this new capture button, like I don't know what you're doing with your life, I don't know, maybe you got a job or do anything else other than this. Uh, the capture button, um, captures. Captures things like Pokemon! <laughs> just kidding, it's just photos and videos and like just, you know, camera stuff. I will tell you this, as I read through this, I care less. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm. I don't know if it's because I've been doing this for like 11 years. I don't know if it's because I'm. I'm 30 years old now. Like I might be an old man. That's also an option. Uh, but like, how many years can I talk about iPhones over and over again? You know, it's okay. I don't want to die. Anyway, yeah, the phone, in fact, the entire lineup of phones, every iPhone 16 model from the lowest to the lowest to the highest to the, getting capture button. So you can capture things with just a convenient button. Uh, do we understand class? Good. Okay, now let's talk about something that does matter, okay? Something that I do care about. Something that is more important than megapixels or zoomy capabilities or capture button capabilities. And that is, of course, how long this phone gonna stay on. Battery life is important, uh, says me. I know, all right, I'm a hero. Yeah, well, battery on the iPhone 15 Pro, as I stated in my not a review video thing, is the same as the iPhone 14 Pro. It's not terrible, but it's also not great. But get this, in 2024, this new year of years, the year of our Lord, we are getting quite the upgrade, people, from the iPhone 15 Pro's measly little 3,274 milliamp hours to, <coughs> get this, drum roll please, the iPhone 16 Pro's 3,355 milliamp hours, huh? <laughs> now you might be wondering, what's the math on that, right? What, how big of a jump? Well, if we just take the three, carry the two and a half percent. Improvement, two and a half percent. Let me die. We do have word from the inside, from the little gremlins in the factories, that they're gonna have some sort of stacked battery technology for increased energy density. If for some reason those massive battery improvements 
are not enough for you, other rumors and leaks suggest that Apple will be implementing faster charge speeds for both wired and wireless charging, going from a max 27 watt wired charge for 15 Pro to 40 watts on the 16 Pro, and of course, from 15 watt MagSafe wireless charging to 20. And listen, I want to be happy for us, but I feel like this should have been done a long time ago, so can only be so happy. We have like a lot more to discuss when it comes to iPhone 16, 16 Pro, uh, whatever, but we're gonna have to do that after I pay some bills. So don't, don't you, don't skip, don't you dare. Who the f Well, hello there, guys. I know, you think I am just the bee's knees, but I have one fatal flaw, and that is I start paying monthly subscriptions for services and then forget that I signed up for the service and just pay every month forever until I die, and they take all of my money, and I've never actually even used the service, but I forgot a long time ago, and I'm still paying for it, and there's no help! Oh, wait, what's that? We have help. That's why today's episode is sponsored by Rocket Money. This is unironically a service that I have been using for a long time because even if I forget, they won't. Not only do they remember and tell you a list of all of your upcoming bills and subscriptions for the week, but they will also safely and securely identify recurring charges and let you choose to cancel them. What if you don't want to cancel though? What if you would just rather your bills be, I don't know, Lower. Rocket Money will do that too. Simply upload a photo of your bill and tap a few buttons. Rocket Money will start negotiating on your behalf to try to get you a better deal. Rocket Money has helped its customers save up to $740 a year, probably more for me personally, with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. Go to rocketmoney.com slash frontpagetech to get started today for free. With the new camera and battery tech out of the way, I think we have time for one more absolutely major improvement coming to iPhone 16 Pro that you do not want to miss. And that is Apple's new upcoming chip technology. Now I know, of course, of course, new iPhone, new chip, that's how it goes every year, but this year, something's cooking. Something is being cooked. This time, the iPhone 16 Pro will be packing the A18 Pro chip, of course, but aside from speed improvements that we have come to expect, leaks also suggest that we're getting a new thermal design that provides a new graphene heat sink and full metal battery casing to keep the heat down. And you know what? It's gonna need it, because that thing is gonna get hot. What was... Anyway, it's gonna get hot because new improvements, new enhanced uh, neural engine. The new neural engine is said to have significantly more cores than that of the A17 Pro because iPhone 16 Pro will have a major focus on AI and all of the new features anticipated with such a thing. You see, Apple's AI adjacent assistant thing, Siri, it already processes all of the things on your phone. But as you know, Siri is uh, terrible, bad, useless, worse, more useless than a flat earther, more useless than the jury at an OJ trial. Anyway, since Siri is already processing everything on device straight on your iPhone and it is terrible, uh, imagine how taxing a proper AI integrated Siri would be in your little glass and metal rectangle device thing. The new A18 Pro is going to be the backbone of Apple's entire new strategy and will seriously demand so much power, as much power as possible. Power, the likes of which you could never. Ever imagine. And you want to know how I doubly know that this is the year that all of these major improvements are coming? It's because ever since Siri debuted back in a long f***ing time ago, it's terrible! It is time, Tim! Tim! Listen! It's time, brother! You see what I mean? Like, we are so far away from these phones being announced, being official, and we know so much about them already. We've done been knowing things about them for a long time. It's like secrets are harder to keep. The last few years, leaks are easier and easier and more frequent. Makes me wonder, how do those leaks happen? Hmm, I wonder.